Hello and welcome to the next video in our series. In this video, we will walk you through how to change the default icon of your Housey app. When you first launch the app, you will notice the default Housey logo as the app icon. While it serves the purpose, changing the icon is crucial for building your brand identity and helping your app stand out in the app stores. When we talk about icons in Android development, there are three types of icon. Traditional static icons. Older Android apps used static icons that maintained a fixed shape regardless of the device theme or operating system version. These icons are still widely supported on older Android versions. Adaptive icons. Starting with Android 8, API level 26, Android introduced adaptive icons. These icons allow for more flexibility displaying different shapes based on the device and ensuring the icon remain visually appealing across different launchers. Android 13 and higher, Android offers support for themed icon. These adaptive icons adjust their tint colors based on users chosen wallpaper and theme, enhancing the visual consistency of the home screen. So let's look into the ways that you can change your icon for both Android and iOS. The first one is automatic way. The easiest way to change the app icon is by using the Flutter Launcher icon package that we already have integrated into the project. The other one is the manual way where you will resize your icons and place them in their respective location yourself. So first look into the Flutter Launcher icon approach. So when we switch to the project in Android Studio uh, and open the project level pub spec, you will notice that we already have integrated the Flutter Launcher icon package and uh, its uh, configuration option as well. So in the image path variable, you can provide the path to your um, uh, app icon that you want to use uh, for Android and iOS apps. If we expand the assets uh, directory and expand the icon directory, you will notice we have two icons here, icon.png and iOS icon.png. This rounded rectangle uh, icon we want to use for older Android versions and this square rectangle icon we want to use for iOS uh, because iOS applies the rounded rectangle mask at their system level. So let's uh, use this uh, rounded rectangle icon for older Android versions. So I will make changes to uh, the image path variable uh, to point to the rounded rectangle icon here and I will set the Android option to true and iOS version to false. Here we have provided the instructions to execute the command. First make sure you already have run the flutter pub get. You can run it from the UI or you can run it from your terminal. So let's open the terminal and uh, run these commands. Let's run the next command. So before running these commands, we will first check the existing icons in Android resources. Notice this is a default Housey icon and let's run the command. Let's open it again and see it has changed the launcher icons in all directories. After changing the icons and launching it on the Android, you will notice it has changed its icon. Keep in mind this is traditional old icon for pre-Android 26. We will also need to provide the adaptive icons for newer Android versions. Let's also replace the iOS icons. Turn the Android option false and enable the iOS option true. And also point it to the iOS icon that we want to use for iOS apps. and it has successfully replaced the iOS icons as well. We can verify it by going into the iOS directory and then runner directory and expand the assets directory here and expand the app icon directory and then open any icon here. So let's talk about the adaptive icons. These are the icons that Google introduced in API 26 and above. These icons adapt based on device settings, providing more dynamic control over how they are displayed. An adaptive icon consists of two layers, a foreground and a background. The system can display these layers differently based on the shape of the launcher icon set by the user. It can be a circular square, square circular 
or teardrop. Adaptive icon can also animate during interactions, enhancing the user experience. To create an adaptive icon, you will need to design your logo as a separate foreground and background images, typically using vector graphic. These can be imported into Android Studio to create the adaptive icons. You can use the Figma Android icon template provided by Google to design all type of icon including the adaptive and themed icon. So when you switch to the community section in Figma, you can search for Android app icons and find the template designed by material team that you can use to uh, generate your app icons. Let's open it in Figma. So when you open this template in Figma, you will notice there are two sections, adaptive colors and adaptive shades. This adaptive color section is for uh, generating adaptive themed icon that was introduced in API level 33. You can provide your icon in these templates and generate the required icons for your project. Make sure you have designed your icons in vector format so it doesn't lose pixels when exporting for different sizes. We already have the logo here and we can simply replace this icon in the template and generate our icon. Let's copy and replace this icon from here. Also note the white area is the safe zone here. So make sure your icon does not exceed its boundaries. So when we copy and move it around, you will notice uh, it is also updating its previews in uh, this section and in these sections. We will uh, simply delete that icon provided by template and keep the one that we want to use. And then, and we can simply export these icons. Go to file and export. But notice it is still showing older icons in these previews. That is because we have not updated the adaptive shape icon here. We also need to place our icon in adaptive shape template so we can generate the adaptive uh, icons as well as the backward compatible icons for older Android versions. Simply copy our icon from here and paste it in this uh, section. This is for the foreground and this is for the background. Let's move it to the center both vertically and horizontally. Let's hide the older logo and older shape. For this business icon, we need to have the background in white. So we will simply set the background as white. The benefit of using this template is it will also generate your Play Store feature graphic as well as Play Store app icon as well. So let's export all the generated icons. File, export and see it, uh, it has generated all the icons in different format. Simply export. So let's import these icon to our application. Select MIP map folders copy and switch to the android studio expand android folder go to the rest section here and paste overwrite for all so let's check these icons so these are the icon that we generated from figma template notice it is a rounded shape to provide the adaptive icons in the app, we need to make few changes here. The adaptive icons uh, generated by the Figma template is in SVG format, but we need to convert these to the vector format used by Android apps. To import an SVG as a vector in Android project, we can use the Android Studio. Since this is a Flutter project, the SVG importer is not available in this mode. We need to switch to an Android project. Uh, so that we can utilize the Android Studio functionality of importing an SVG as a drawable. So I have switched to an Android project. This is the same project that we used to generate Android Key Store. 
there is a section uh, here that says resource manager click on it and you will see an option to uh, add resources to the module clicking on it will reveal a menu that says drivable resource file image asset and vector asset as we want to uh, import a vector asset we will select this one and provide a name and choose the background SVG uh, that we generated from Figma background open next and finish we only imported the uh, background we also need to import the foreground as well so let's call it foreground choose the SVG file open next and finish and we have both IC launcher and IC launcher background here now switch back to the housey project expand the drawable and uh, notice we already have provided our icon background and icon foreground XML these icon background and icon foreground contain the housey logo here you can simply uh, replace the content of these icons or you can copy these files from this project to the housey project let's copy the content of these files this is the foreground file so we need to paste it, it into the foreground file here and also copy the background file to the background file in housey project and the last step we need to rename this file to make it work refactor rename and delete the extra text in this file name refactor now we are ready to witness the adaptive icon in the app and then we have successfully updated to the adaptive icons here although we have provided the adaptive icons and we have seen it working but when we go into the home screen and apply the themed icons we will notice that our icon does not change according to the applied theme how can we enable the compatibility of a themed icon simply open the IC launcher and copy the foreground and paste uh, as a third line and rename foreground to monochrome relaunch the app go to the home screen and witness our icon is also sporting the theme style of the launcher with this step you have successfully customized the icon of your housey app helping it stand out and align it with your brand's visual identity for a deeper dive into creating adaptive icons we highly recommend checking out the official android developers guide it covers everything you need to know about designing adaptive icons that work seamlessly across different devices and system versions. Also when you are preparing to upload your app to Google Play, make sure your icons follow the Google Play guidelines. These guidelines ensure your app icon meets all the necessary requirements for visibility and appearance in the Play Store. This concludes our tutorial on changing the app icon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.